Hi everybody, I'm Professor DiMartino from the Kinesiology Department at William Patterson University and I'm going to demonstrate four simple yet effective stretches to help release short, tight muscles that we most commonly develop from being in the seated position far too long. We tend to tighten and shorten our anterior kinetic chain, both the upper and lower bodies. I'm going to walk you through four stretches that you can do anywhere with almost no equipment. All you need is somewhere to sit and a wall to place your arms on. So like any physical activity, I'm going to ask you please, if you're following me, make sure you get up from your workspace and move and warm up the body for a minimum of five to ten minutes before doing any of these stretches. So walking around for five to ten minutes is a nice, efficient, effective way to warm up the lower body. The upper body, people tend to forget to warm up. So what I'm going to do is show you three different movements to help blood flow to the upper body so that when we stretch the chest, we have a nice warm muscle group to work with. So let's start by ensuring our posture when moving is appropriate. I'd like everybody to begin by separating the feet a little bit greater than or equal to hip width and making sure the navel is drawn all the way into the spine. If you happen to have an anterior pelvic tilt, I'd like for you to shift forward to flatten out the low back and prevent any injury. Now that you're set up for proper movement, ensuring safe muscles, we're going to get warm. So let's take the arms out wide at their sides and just roll the arms back. Nice arm circles. Move the whole arm so that your shoulder is involved. Pinching the blades on your back together. Remember, soft knees ensure and protect the low back. Continue 10 more seconds, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're gonna move into the next set of movements. You're gonna make two wide right angles for me, drop down and come on up. The whole time the knees are soft, belly button is tucked into the spine and your low back is protected. Four more. And finally, I want you to move into a series of movements that looks like you're about to stretch out your tricep. An assisted stretch where usually we use a band or a yoga belt, but I'd like for you to do it with nothing there. Just getting the upper body to move through a range of motion to promote circulation. Try not to tilt your head up or tuck it towards the chest. Just leave it straight and neutral. It's three, two, and one. Nice work. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And I want you to just become aware of your shoulders. Dropping them away from the ears and rolling backwards for 10. The whole time you're keeping posture intact and awareness of your core and release. So hoping you have gotten up, walked for five to 10 minutes and thoroughly warmed up the lower and upper bodies, let's get to stretching. The first stretch is pretty simple. You're going to take your hands and clasp them behind your back. You're going to take the feet, hip width apart, soft knees to ensure protection, and just drop your thumbs as they're hooked together down. Squeezing your shoulder blades together on the back, Efficiently opening up the chest, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth the entire time. Once 15 seconds have elapsed, just take the crossing or hooking of the thumbs and reverse them. Hold for another 30 seconds to ensure a long enough stretch, opening up the pecs and actually contracting your traps, which tend to be overly elongated and knotty. Take a deep breath in through your nose, out through the mouth, and release. The second stretch that we're going to do will also be to open the chest and is a little more advanced than the first one. All you need available to you is a wall. So you're going to face the wall and place the shoulder against it. That arm behind you is going to creep back and open up wide. Place your palm against the wall and to advance the stretch, Take the feet and turn them towards the inner portion of the room. When I do this stretch, I like to take my opposite hand behind my back just to enforce the fact that I'm keeping both sides of my chest open. 
I'm a forward rolled individual, and so I have to work on this flexibility. You want to hold for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds, and when you're done, gently release, step out, turn, and do the opposite side. You can have the knee slightly bent, and to advance the stretch, you're going to go ahead and shift the feet to the opposite side of the room. The height of your arm may differ from left to right, depending upon flexibility, and that's normal. Make sure you're conscious of your breath and you're sucking your belly button into the spine for a supportive core and proper posture. After you've hold the stretch for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds, gently release and you can come back to a neutral position. The final two stretches will focus again around the upper back area and the low body. So I wanna move into a low body stretch because oftentimes we have really tight hip flexors from being seated. So I'm going to use an ottoman that I have. You can use a desk chair, um, anything that gives you proper room to move your legs. I'm going to scooch over to one side. It could be a chair, it can be a piece of furniture, whatever works well with the length of your legs. And you're going to drop one foot towards the floor. Now to ensure you have a proper view of what I'm doing, I'm just going to show you a profile view. So I'm going to take the same leg. I'm going to keep that chest open, back flat and my core tight, I'm gonna drop that knee towards the floor and I'm gonna flip my toes over. So if I was barefoot, my toenails would be making contact with the floor. Place your hands on the opposite quad, look up and back, releasing any tightness in your hip flexor or psoas muscle groups. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Remember, keep your core and posture intact and release after 20 to 30 seconds. Make sure you do everything on both sides of the body. So you would go ahead and you would complete the same stretch on the opposite leg, being conscious of your breath the whole time. Inhale, exhale, looking up, pressing your toenail down into the floor, releasing any tightness right here, breathing, and once you've completed 20 to 30 seconds, gently release and find the center of your chair or whatever you're sitting on. The final stretch will definitely help if you have tightness in the back of the neck, if you have knots that cause trigger points that radiate all the way up towards the head. This will help you at least release them in an effective manner. We're gonna raise one hand up over the head. Make sure your feet are rested firmly on the floor. Hook the elbow on the top of the head and gently press into the ear. Your opposite hand is gonna point down towards the floor until you feel a nice opening and a fanning motion in the back of the neck. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and make sure you're doing very gentle stretching here. So don't move too fast and be conscious of your breath. Once you've held for 20 to 30 seconds, very slowly bring your head back to a neutral position, lower the arm and repeat on the opposite side. You'll usually find your dominant sides a little tenser than the other, and that's normal. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Very slowly and carefully release that hand. Take a nice deep breath. Make sure your vision is clear, and when you're ready, stand back up on your feet. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Raise the arms up over the head. Make your body long and tall and strong. Exhale through the mouth and do these stretches whenever you need a break or if you're feeling tight in your anterior kinetic chain. Don't forget to get up often, move around, and drink lots of water.